Hey guys, welcome to our workout. Today we have got the top ab exercises. And if you know anything about Alfie, you know he's got a six pack hiding under there somewhere. And maybe you have too. And we're gonna show you how you can get that six pack with our top ab exercises. So you don't have to use weights, you can if you want to. It's just gonna add some more resistance, make it a little bit more challenging. Alfie is the word abs and he's out of here. So you're gonna come down to the ground. Your hands are gonna be directly underneath each other. And all you're gonna do is you're gonna lift one leg up and you're gonna lift up the opposite arm at the same time. So all we're just gonna do is warming up those abs. Okay, just really working on the stability, on our core, and a little bit of work in those arms as well. A little bit of glute work, but mainly we are really working on those abs. So if you want to, you can add in a weight. So just here, you extend one up, okay? Grabbing your other weight, and you can extend up too, okay? This is gonna make it more difficult, and obviously if it's a little bit more challenging, you're gonna get those better results. Okay, so we are gonna blast through eight minutes of incredible ab exercises to get you looking fit and toned. So that's it, so keep extending, and that's it, you've got this. So we're gonna hold up here, and we're just gonna squeeze. So try and keep that arm nice and straight, that leg straight too. Squeeze that tummy in, and relax, and let's go over to the other side. So we're just doing a little static hold just for a couple of seconds, holding it up, and then down. So anytime you wanna drop those weights, you can. Squeeze in that tummy and relax. Okay, one more on this side. Up you go for three, two, one. Okay, great. So you don't have to use those weights. You can do if you want. We're gonna come down now into a plank, one of my favorite ab exercises. So you're gonna come up onto your toes, okay? Make sure that your head is in line with your butt, which is in line with your heels. Honestly, it's Alfie's favorite too. So you're just gonna squeeze those abs in, stay nice and tight, okay? I'm just gonna hold it here, just a static hold and just keep breathing. So really, really squeeze those abs, pull those, the tummy button in towards the spine. And then just think, if you wanna have a slight bend in those knees as well, depending if your knees are, kind of you don't want them to be too, uh, super locked out. So that's it, so just keeping it, holding it here. You've got this for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, and four, three, two, one. Great job. Onto those knees, and then back onto the back, okay? One of my favorite exercises, we're gonna do is the Russian twist, but we're gonna vary it up a little bit today to make it one of the top ab exercises. So what you're gonna do is extend back, you're gonna keep your feet flat on the ground because we're gonna really be working those abs. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna slowly come down and then we're gonna slowly come up, okay? So we've done those Russian twists before, but this time we're just adding in, going backwards and then coming up again. That's it, so keep squeezing down, really twisting that body and then up we come and squeeze all the way up to the top. And down we go again. Now really twist that body for me. I really want you to look either side. You're using your eyes and come back up. Now if you want to, you can add in a weight. So just holding it here and you can twist either side and then all the way back up again. That's it, you're looking good guys. Let's keep it going, stay really strong. Don't give up on me. You've got to keep pushing through and making it happen. If everything is gonna be in your mindset, if you think you can, or if you think you can't, you're right. And you guys, you can do this. So let's come up and then go down. That's it, squeeze, and then back up again. Okay, let's go down one more time. And we're gonna hold it here at the bottom. So just hold, okay, and repeat after me. I can do this. I am powerful. You've got this, guys. I am amazing. I am powerful. So keep repeating after me, guys. I can. I've got this. I'm strong. I'm fit. Last one. I'm worth it. And hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Great job. Okay, next exercise, you're gonna come onto your side. So we're gonna be working those side obliques too. So we've done everything, we've done some lower abs, the middle abs too. You're gonna to come up onto your side, okay, and just you're gonna go here, okay? And you're gonna lift one arm up to the top and then bring it down. So really lift up on those abs, working those arms too, but really just strengthening those core muscles. This is gonna help with your balance. So if you're feeling a little bit off balance, just keep this arm here and drop the weight, okay? Just practice bringing your arm up and down. So what the weight is gonna do is really gonna test your balance, okay, which is what is gonna keep your core nice and strong. So if you've got a tight core, you're gonna have great balance. That's it. And squeeze, really lift up in that waist, and then just hold at the top here. 
to squeeze for five, four, three, two, one. Great stuff. Okay, straight over to the other side. So using this weight, bending those knees, coming up here, and then extending that arm up and down. Really try and keep your hips on top of each other so you're in a nice straight line. And then squeeze, bringing that up. Never dip down. You want to hold it up all the time. Be really, really strong. Um, you've got this, guys. You're feeling powerful. You're feeling strong. We're going to push through this workout. And just, guys, if you do this every single day, follow the calendar. 30 minutes of exercise every day. It's going to really help boost your metabolism and help you on the way to get those results. You don't even have to work out what workout to do when. It's already there for you. So make sure you check out the website. Okay, squeeze. Now hold here for five, four, three, two, one. Okay, and relax down. So turning back, here we're gonna do a little bit of stuff on those lower abs. So you can put those weights to the side. You're gonna come here, you can have your arms over the top of your head, and you're gonna bring those legs up, and you're gonna go down, okay, as far as you can, and then bring the, bring the legs back up again. Okay, so just really simple leg drops, and then squeeze, and then up again. One of the arms over the head just gonna make it slightly more challenging. If you've got weights and you want to hold them over your head too, you can do. And that's it. Just keep squeezing down. Breathing in and out. Nice. Now anytime your back comes off the floor, I've said this before, you want to just make sure that you're really squeezing everything down into the ground. So we're working the abs and not the back. That's it. Three and two. Nice and slow. And give me one more. Okay, great. So we're going to do a full sit-up. So your legs are a bit wider than hip width distance apart. And you can do the first one to help you get up. You hamper your arms over your head. And then what we're going to do is going to go slowly down. We're going to touch each side on the way down. And then all the way, arms over the head. So that's it. So squeeze up on the way down. It's touch, touch, and down. And guys, you've just got 60 seconds left to go of this workout. I want you to make this the best 60 seconds you've had of the workout because you can do this. This is where the magic is going to happen. You're going to see those differences. And down. Okay, all the way up to the top. Squeeze. Down. And come down again. Let's go. Now try and do those taps either side at the lowest point that you're going to fall, okay? So where you can just about hold it. Don't just do it up at the top. Challenge yourself. So here here and then down good job everyone squeeze we've got one more of these and then it's into the last exercise so push yourself and smile down here and now you're gonna have all the way up and what you're gonna do is you're gonna take those two weights you're gonna hold them out to the side okay and bring it out and in so just keep squeezing that's it we've got ten nine eight seven six five four three two, one, and release. Make sure you do the cool down video afterwards. So important that you repair your muscles. Check out my favorite thing to have after I work out on the nutrition plan. You can follow me on Instagram, Rebecca Louise Fitness for more tips. And of course, Alfie. Sir Alfie has got all of his. He's got even more tips than I have. Guys, I'll see you on the next workout.